We're live. I think we're live. Oh, we got. I may be. You may be plinged. Yeah. Let's, Let's check it out. Here. So hey, folks. We're just checking some. Uh, we got a notification. What's it say? It says we're live. I can't see it, but that's okay. Good without, enough. Without a net. That's all the net. We're live without a net. Wasn't that? Oh hey, we're live. That that's proof we're live. Okay, good. All right now. Stop it! I feel like I'm watching a Coen Brothers movie. <laughs> so we're gonna do another beer. We are here. Uh, noted. We've churned things around to show you that we've been getting buckets of rain all day long here in Kansas City behind us. So if you hear the noise back here, that's what it is. Uh, Josh went uh, beer shopping today and uh, came up with another one that I, I told you. I said you're not gonna like this beer. I just know you're not gonna like this beer, uh, only because. Uh, what happened to our light? Didn't we have a light on? No, what, did it go away? Or is it still on? Do we have it? I think it's good. Oh, oh it's the other way. Because oh. we can't have the light on because we're... <laughs> That's okay. We look good. We look good. Modus Mandarina. India Pale Ale from Ska Brewing in, I believe, in Durango, Colorado. If I'm not mistaken. Um, the reason that I've been told you we should do this beer mm -hmm. is because the only other person watching right now is your buddy this is my friend Chris in California who Shit. is from Colorado and uh, I believe the first time he had Modus Hopperandi the most famous beer uh, from Ska Brewing <clears throat> he was with me here in Kansas City at a bar so uh, I know he likes IPAs he likes hoppy stuff it, it, what's funny about it is Modus Hopperandi is a is a more tasty IPA than normal that's why it's a special beer it's got I don't know, a little more tropical, I guess, is the best way to say it. So I, I find it funny that they did a, another version of it with Mandarin, Mandarin. a mandarina. Does it say anything more about it, the beer on it at all anywhere in on the can, Josh? Is that it, all it says? It, it has a, you know, it's from Ska Brewing. It has a couple um, dancing, which is kind of cool, and it says lip up fatty. Okay. Uh, I mean, obviously, the can is orange. What does it There's say a, there? Anything important? Of, Oh, goodness gracious. I know. We're both old and blind. India Pale Ale dry hopped. Dry hopped. With Mandarina. Mm -hmm. What is Mandarina? Is, it an, is that Mandarin Orange? Yep. Okay. Bavaria hops Bavaria. and brewed with orange peels. Hmm. Hmm. Now, if you watch this show, the Craft Brew Crew, you know that I have an issue with orange. It either needs to be orange, or don't say it. <clears throat> That's kind of what I was talking about earlier with you. That that uh, you know, don't don't give me false advertising. And when you mention orange, my eyes light up. I'm like, oh, good orange. But I guarantee you, I almost guarantee you, this isn't going to have the orange taste that I wish. I hope it does, but I'm going to guess it doesn't. I've never had this beer, so I've only but, had the well, uh, Can you uh, refresh people's? Uh, Memories on the the other one you were talking about the hop modus operandi. Yes. Well, modus like I said, modus operandi is 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 a it's just a, an, an IPA, very hoppy IPA that I think has uh, a stronger uh, what's the word I'm looking for multiple flavors in it. It's it's, it's got a stronger do you, flavor to it. Do you kind of tropical? Do you recall what the uh, ABV was? With the, it's probably in the in the sixes. This is yeah. six point six point eight, right? Which okay, let's give it the which is not un, which is not unusual for most IPAs these days to be in the sixes. So, give me the uh, give yeah, me the give old me my little glass, whiskey? please. Yeah, gotcha. Josh is a good pour. Mm, it's got an orangey pour. It is it is pretty orangey. That's, I mean, compared to the uh, yeah, it the is four hands. Yeah, clear that is pretty orangey looking. Jasmine. Not to say that it's unusual for an IPA to be orange. That's not unusual. Don't give me the whole can. You got to keep some. Well, Again, you you're you're, you're, you don't expect to like it, do you? You're the beer guy you know? here, man. I am just the. I've not smelled yet either. I can, but honestly, I think I can smell some from back here. It's not bad. Man. Woo! It's <laughs> hoppy, Jack. <laughs> I, well, you can pour some in here if you want. I'm just not a big IPA guy yet. Yeah, that's fine. I must give a sniff. Ooh, mama. I'm really bad with the smells. I mean, so. coming from the jasmine, the, the clear. <clears throat> to be honest with you, I don't think this smells near as hoppy as you think it smells. It smells hoppy to you because you're not, you've not tasted and drank as many hoppy beers as I have in my life. But to me, it's it smells pretty. I can tell it's a pale ale or an IPA. 
Um, but it doesn't smell as hoppy. I can smell kind of the, the I can think I can smell some orangey. Do you? Yeah. A little bit. I don't know. Well, again, Maybe a little different. Oops. Hey. There we go. A little little iPhone problem there. Damn phone. All right, well, let's give it a... T Here, cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Whoa. See? Wow. Wow. That's, a, that's, that's everything went hoppity hop. Not that it's bad. My second drink, I can, I can taste a little more orangey. Ooh, honey child. It's yeah. it. I, see, sometimes for me, sometimes when when when, when this is what they do sometimes. They, they they make a good beer, <clears throat> and then they screw it all up by trying to get cute by doing other things to it. And, and modus operandi for an IPA drinker is a good IPA. And you would probably have the same reaction if you drank modus operandi, but you but but I'm guarantee you modus operandi has more going on than this beer does. This just doesn't seem to have... It's a very... The more I drink, the more I get the orange. It's a bitter, orangey beer. And see, it doesn't work for me. Because what do you think of... Is, is, are oranges sweet? I mean, they can They're be. fruit, right? I mean, yeah. Because they got fruit sugar, right? Well, yeah. Right. Fructose. So I hate it when we put... This is just me. I don't like putting fruit in IPAs because for me it's it, it, it's 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 a bass backwards combination. I want that's why I would never want a key lime IPA. I love key lime. I don't want a key lime IPA. I got you. Key lime sour actually works. Key lime wheat ale or a key, a key lime ale actually works. But you know, an orange ale, an orange cream ale works. The cream a cream sickle orange ale that I've had before is fantastic. I but taste start, the orange now. Yeah, sure. The more you have it, the more you yeah. taste it, right? But it or the just, man Mandarin, right? Orange. The Mandarin, yeah. right? Exactly. I well, orange peels they mentioned. So yeah, I just do not like putting. I'm not a fan of putting the fruit in the IPAs. Now, having said that, I, going off on a side tangent here, do you recall when I mentioned that we were at my family and I had your daughter with us and we were at the uh, the women's uh, Kansas City soccer game? Yep. And I asked my wife to give me the Boulevard Tropical Pale Ale. And she came back with the regular. With, with the wheat or the pale, regular pale ale is what it was. Right, right. And so I was disappointed. Well, wasn't it... When did I have it? Was I... It was when I was with you. Just last week when I was with you, yeah. I finally had one. The Tropical Pale Ale at 54th Street. Yes. That's and right. And it... Honestly, it... And again, I live in Kansas City. I'm not a big Boulevard fan. It's not that I don't like them. It's it's not that I don't like them. It's just that they don't have a lot of beers for me that that I'm excited about. But I got to be honest, that pale ale was actually well done. They got the combination right. But again, it's a pale ale, Josh, not an IPA. Okay. Ooh, this IPA is. Yeah, this Ooh, is an IPA, and there's a difference. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I don't. The Josh, look, people you need to know. Josh is not an IPA guy at all. Not yet. At all. You know. So it's not. I'm not saying it's a bad beer at all, and I'm not saying I wouldn't drink this again. So I think I wouldn't drink it. I again. think you wouldn't too. <laughs> well, well, hear me out. Uh, let me ask you this: What would you equate another one of these beers to? Like, or this beer to another orangish, peelish IPA? Have you ever? Well, had? I've not had a lot of them because I don't drink a lot of IPAs these days. Oh. Um, what I like doing right now is trying to compare it to to modus operandi, and for me, for my money, uh, you know, buy a modus operandi. Don't don't buy the modus mandarin because I don't think it's as good personally. What was the cost on the modus operandi? Oh, it's probably if you remember, it's probably ten bucks a six pack. I, they're probably all ten. Kind bucks of pricey, pack, roughy. Yeah, I mean, it's. I'll be honest with you, ten bucks a six pack is. Typical. Norm, typical these days. You Holy. know, it's ballast. It's ballast point that, that is so proud of their beers that they charge twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars a six pack. Yeah, and I will not do it. And they'll even do that. It's twelve dollars a six pack for their for their average amber ales or their their lagers and stuff. And it's like, dude, 
Mm. Come on. Your beer's not that special. I will say, I like the can. I like the orange. I like Stop the, moving. <laughs> I, I like the... Uh, I love the Reservoir Dog, uh, you know, Mandarin orange Which head. Is, that's cool. That yeah. is cool. And that came, they have something, I believe, I can't remember what Modus Operandi's can looks like, but I think it's it's very similar. The logo is very and similar. And I do like the, the dancing uh, people, and it says Lip Up Fatty, which yes. I don't know what that means. I can only, I, I can only reason it's, Use your the beer is exactly yeah yeah. We will. Our, our, as you said, six point eight percent ABV. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to give it a rating? Ooh, gosh, yes. I'm gonna go with a two out of five, only because I'm not a I'm not an IPA guy. I it's understand. too much for me. It's I'm too sure. overwhelming. If I if I drink six of these, I'm probably pretty drunk and I'm probably throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> Nastiness. I, and, and like like orange scum. What do you call I, that? The uh, bottom of the pond? Uh, what scum. You, pond pond, pond no, scum. No, it's called... Um, pond puke. Curd. Pond, no, it's called... Uh, curd. It's always got to be... What's that cheese word again from the... Camber beer. Camber beer. Camber beer. Camber beer. Puking up cottage cheese. That's a Dennis Miller cheese. That's... Yeah, no doubt. Well, I get it. I understand completely. I, we, my, advice, my advice to you is to get you into more hoppy beers... No. I would start with something that is not an IPA. I would start. Can you? I have a well, I how about have a this? Can you? Okay, yeah. I have my, one of my first suggestions, to be honest with you, is during the holiday times. You and it's funny that I just dogged Boulevard, because I'm going to suggest a Boulevard beer. I think you should try Boulevard's Nutcracker. Have you had it? I think so. I think my dad had it at one time. But go ahead. I apologize. No, that's okay. Well, I, maybe not. Then I'll suggest another one sometime. I'll no, figure it out. No, no, go ahead and suggest that, that one. No, I know that, that's that, that that was one that's one that comes to mind. Oh, it's one that comes to mind. So, okay. what? The, she's going to be standing there forever if we don't say something to her. Let's just go ahead and talk to her. Hi. Yes. What can we do for you? I need my sweatshirt. What a what a good idea. Get your sweatshirt. Oh, goodbye. Bye, people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, hang on, hang on. Should we tell people to? Not yet, because I haven't given my review yet. My, oh, let's my, review this on, month. Man. It's not just about you, Josh. I'm, <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I, it's not horrible, but it's not special. And I think I'm actually going to go with a. I'm going to do my three point two five again. I, I want to go. I want to go three point five. I honestly would drink it again, but would you it's, buy it? Would you I would buy not it? buy it. Oh. I wouldn't buy it. There's not a lot of IPAs I wouldn't buy, to be uh -huh. honest with you, because I'm just not an IPA guy. I don't hate them. I just don't like them enough to want to spend 10 bucks on them. You know. So 3 point, what did I say? 3.25 out of 5. That's my rating. You gave it a 2. Is that right? 2 out of 5? Uh, Fair. Uh, only but because it, it was cold. But it's, it's your own. It's, it's, it's your personal review. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I'm an inexperienced uh, IPA beer drinker. You... You're a pretty inexperienced beer drinker. Not really. IPA beer drinker. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a beer snob. How many stouts have you had? I have had a stout or two. Not a lot. <laughs> inexperienced beer drinker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, writing your beer review. Anyway. Yeah. Hey, I right. think I have a stout in the fridge. No, I don't. I have another IPA. No, I gave you a stout today. Oh. Maybe you should drink that on air. Maybe. That might be interesting. Maybe our next one. Maybe we should. Well, let's let's say goodbye to them. Tell them to subscribe. Which, where, where are they subscribing? Right. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> Woo! Right under the cage. Right under the cage. That's disgusting. Yeah, sorry about but that. But that was okay. Let's say goodbye to them. Goodbye. We're not that drunk. Not yet. Not yet. Get in there. <laughs> bye, bye, bye.